So let's get into the moon. Explain to us what is the power of the moon and what can the moon teach us? Okay. So I guess the first thing to say is that women have worked with the moon literally for millennia, like thousands of years. Uh, and, and men and women have worked with the moon. Um, I mean, we know, for example, that uh, 15,000 years ago, people were working with the moon because in France, there are beautiful cave paintings of the lunar cycle. And uh, the chances were that they were working out where the new moon was and the full moon was because they could see better at night. Uh, So it was probably quite practical because obviously 15,000 years ago you had to be pretty much in touch with all the seasons and, and so on. But, you know, we've been looking at the moon like that for a long, long time. Uh, But, you know, over the years, those 15,000 years, um, people have started to work with the moon and it became something that was very sacred and very ancient and it became something very, very feminine. So in astrology and moonology, uh, the sun is very masculine and the moon is very feminine. So even though I always say pretty much Two of my very favourite people in the world are my husband and my son, and they are both men, obviously. Um, So I'm not anti-men in any way, shape or form, but the moon does have a feminine aspect to her. And uh, so women have traditionally worked with the moon for thousands and thousands of years. And women have the power to create. Now, we know that because we give birth. So, you know, we know that women are very creative. Um, And uh, also we have the power to create our reality. And there was a point, you know, this this working with the moon, in, in astrology, the men traditionally worked with planets now I'm not I don't want to be sort of gender specific you know obviously there may well have been some you know people who identified as men who but but were in touch with their feminine side and who worked with the moon and so on and but generally speaking if you look at the names on all the books of all the the famous astrology books through the ages up until about 50 years ago they were all men and uh, the women were at home doing their own thing with the moon and Venus and, you know, making their potions and doing their tinctures and all this. And it all kind of went like this and women developed their healing powers. And then about 500 years ago, uh, just as sort of, for one thing, medical information was starting to grow and the, the, the male, the patriarchy was getting more and more interested in medicine, uh, the patriarchy was going stronger, uh, it became illegal to do things like work with the moon. And, you know, we had the Salem witch trials in America where you are and we had witch hunts uh, across Europe. And right. there's no, there's not really any information about um, how many uh, women were killed, right. but it, it, estimates run between thousands and millions, which I know sounds like a lot, but there really are estimates that run from thousands to millions. And so all this information, bang, went underground and that was it. Nobody wanted to work with the moon anymore. Nobody wanted to to do the magic anymore because you could get killed for it. So whereas in the past, especially because it was a feminine thing, um, you know, the information would tend to be passed down from mother to daughter to mother to, to daughter, we stopped telling our daughters because we didn't want them to get right. It was a hanged or burned or, you know, drowned. Can you touch on, maybe I'm not that great at knowing the history of that time, but I don't even understand why that was happening. What was the shift and the reason that? Yeah, yeah. that's kind of the million dollar question, isn't it? Because, (laughs) you know, why would men not want women to be in touch with their magical powers? Were they becoming more Hmm, powerful? I wonder. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can only surmise that they weren't comfortable with women Mm -hmm. uh, being that powerful and being in touch with their ability to Mm -hmm. bend reality. Mm -hmm. 